The great white shark is one of the most feared predators of the underwater world. It is very large, has five rows of sharp teeth and a huge mouth, a fierce disposition to go along with high speed and maneuverability. All this inspires irresistible fear. It is not surprising that such outstanding characteristics have become so popular among human society, with a lot of various myths and stories about the white shark, a merciless predator from whom there is no escape. But is this really the case? Hello there, and today we will check on whether the shark can smell a drop of blood in the water. Do sharks really not sleep? And is it true or a myth that their actions are based only on natural instincts? So, let's get it on. The first myth, food fever, also called food rabies or bloodlust. It is believed that as soon as a white shark senses human blood, it immediately attacks the swimmer and at the same time can grab and swallow any object. But a person is not included in the usual diet of a great white shark. In fact, human blood is not really like the blood of a fish or penny peds, and the shark perfectly can distinguish between the smell. Typically, a shark makes a test bite to meet a potential victim and sets sail. The chance of surviving a shark attack is estimated at 86%, and most of the deaths are associated with heavy blood loss. The white shark rarely makes a second attack, but if it attacks again, it first swims around the victim and looks closely, rather than rushing instantly, despite the large amount of blood flowing from the wounds received during the first attack. That means they do not fall into food fever, even if they do not give up their aggressive intentions. The second myth, the maximum size of a great white shark. Some researchers claim that a great white shark can reach a length of up to 40 feet. Sharks practically stop growing once they reach puberty. Males, that is about 26 years old, and females about 33 years old. In this case, the average length of an adult male varies from 11 to 13 feet. Females are larger, from 15 to 16 feet. The mass of a predator fish ranges from 1,500 to 2,500 pounds. According to scientists, under suitable conditions, a shark can reach a maximum size of 20 feet, and individuals in the California population are noticeably larger. The third myth. Without movement, sharks die. This is not entirely true. Any shark, and especially a great white shark, really needs constant movement. Not only that, without this, a shark can simply sink to the bottom, since they lack a swimming bladder. A continuous movement is vital for a white shark to raise body temperature. In addition, they lack special muscles that could cause water to move intensively along the gill slits, so sharks also need to be constantly in motion to breathe. Of course, these facts cannot be ignored, but under certain conditions, the great white shark can still take a break from continuous swimming. For the first time, scientists learned about this not so long ago from Mexican fishermen. According to their stories, different species of sharks gather from all around in underwater caves to enjoy several hours of complete peace. At the moment, just off the coast of Central America near the Yucatan Peninsula, about a dozen of these caves have been discovered. Sharks are almost motionless, apart from a slightly open mouth, freeze for several hours and do not react to the movements of divers. Usually, aggressive predators only watch the scuba divers with their eyes, showing no other signs of anxiety or irritation. According to one version, in such caves, fish are in a state close to a narcotic trance. The composition of the environment is very different from the usual, as underground keys saturate seawater with oxygen and significantly reduce its salinity. Such a peculiar life-giving cocktail not only relieves predators of oxygen hunger, but also intoxicates them in some way. It is also known that sharks are usually accompanied by various small fish. These fish not only feed on shark food debris, but also cleanse them of various parasites, microorganisms, and bacteria. With the hostess constantly moving, it is also impossible for the fish to clean their large companion well, which is why ideal conditions for such procedures are created in the underwater caves. The question is, do these sensitive fish sleep or just relax? It is still open for debate. 
The fourth myth. A drop of blood can attract a shark from several miles away. In fact, the smell of this predator is excellent in comparison with humans. But in the world of fish, it does not represent anything outstanding. Specialists from the Discovery Channel decided to conduct an interesting experiment and see how quickly a large white shark swims to the bait. True, they did not use human blood, but fish blood. At the same time, the experiment participants dove into the ocean next to the bait, hiding in iron cages for safety reasons. Their expectations were confirmed. The huge marine predator was not long in coming. True, the researchers immediately got accused of deception because the blood was not human. But experiments with human blood were also conducted. It turned out that the sharks did not attack. Therefore, the stories that a deep cut on a diver's finger can doom him immediately to death from a bloodthirsty predator are still nothing more than ordinary horror stories. In fact, human meat is not of any interest to sharks. Too many bones and not enough fat, experts say. Yes, there are about a hundred unprovoked shark attacks in the world every year, but scientists associate them primarily with climate change. Human activities strongly affect ecosystems and, as you might have guessed, not in the best way. As a result, sharks become more aggressive and food is not always enough for them. So, we need to say that today, man poses a greater danger to sharks than they do to humans. Another interesting fact. The great white shark has about 280 to 300 serrated edges at the sharp end of their teeth, located in five to six rows. Sharks have rootless teeth. Throughout their lives, predators change their teeth. In young animals, a complete change of the first row occurs every three months. In sexually mature individuals, every eight months. A frequent conveyor change is due to the diet. Strong scales, animal bones, a thick layer of subcutaneous fat, all this spoils the predator's formidable weapon. In addition to a complete shift, the white shark loses several teeth during each hunt. Despite their rapid growth, they still try to keep their teeth. Having seized the victim, the white shark makes quick side-to-side -side movements with its head, trying to tear off a larger piece with the help of its upper jaw, which works similar to a saw. This animal can swallow 20 to 30 pounds of meat at a time. A great white shark will never pull its prey up and down or towards itself. Evolution is taking care of this terrifying predator. Not one underwater hunter can boast of such weapons. With a conventional root system, the percentage of hunting productivity would be extremely reduced. And finally, an amazing discovery made by zoologists from the city of Santa Cruz. Scientists noticed that a great white shark often hunts at dawn and sunset and decided to study the possible causes of this behavior. For the experiment, 15 large white sharks were chosen. It was noted that the initial position for the attack these sharks occupy depend on the position of the sun above the horizon. So at dawn, sharks attack from the east and sunset from the west. Interestingly, when the sun is covered by clouds, the predator changes direction. Observation allowed researchers to put forward two theories about this behavior of great white sharks. First, the predator tries to quietly get to the victim, using a reflection of sunlight to mask it. The second is related to the direction of the attack. Presumably, the object is blinded by the rays of the sun and cannot notice the danger, while the shark itself excommunicates the best lighting. Unfortunately, this unique species of shark is on the verge of extinction. In the world, there are only about three and a half thousand large white sharks. Despite the bans, they are still being destroyed. Perhaps with the help of recent studies proving that these magnificent animals are not just thoughtless meat eaters, but highly organized and difficult social creatures, their extermination will stop. And that's all for today. Write in the comments what you think about sharks, and don't forget to put like if you like this video. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.